Hello, I'm Leanne Heilman. And the quilt that I have in Quilt National is called Where Once a Tree Was Standing. I did this quilt um, from photographs, which I took. Um, they were uh, from a field about, a nor about an hour north of Tombstone, Arizona. Um, a friend had been looking for windmills to do a windmill quilt, so I had my eye out for a windmill. And as we were driving, my husband and I were, were driving and exploring, I saw this lovely field with uh, dried cow pies, uh, many of those, and um, some downed logs and uh, a windmill. So where once a tree was standing uh, came from those, fo those photographs. Um, when I actually did the quilt, when I actually got around to doing the quilt, it was after I had completed uh, another large piece called Navajo Boy with Truck, which was a, a nine month um, work. And I always have a sense of loss after I finish a work like that. So where once a tree was standing, it was created a, in, a, in a rather dark time for me. Um, my son had gotten his PhD and had moved further away from me um, geographically. And um, it also was the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, so there was a lot going on. So this particular piece was very symbolic for me. The, the log at the foreground of where once a tree was standing is uh, very darkly shadowed and it symbolizes the ending and the changing of things that does happen in life. The uh, mountains in the background are uh, indicative of the, the parts of nature that are immutable, that are reassuring, the, the things that do change or that do remain the same while all else is changing. Um, the windmill itself is that stretch to the sky, uh, reaching for the sublime, for God, for the this life of the spirit. Um, and it wasn't until I got that windmill in that I felt comfortable again and felt the, the darkness lifting. And once I did get that windmill completed, the hope was restored and, and um, I was willing, willing and able to move on to the next piece, which had lots of green in it, go figure. Um, so this was a very important piece for me. My technique is both raw edge and turned edge applique. And my work is very representational. So I'm really interested to see how it's going to look in this show um, because I suspect that most of what's going to be in the show won't be. So we'll see if I'm wrong about that. I, I might be wrong, but it will be really interesting. And I'm really looking forward to the show um, for that reason, amongst others. Uh, my inspiration is generally from nature. I've always been an explorer as a, a, a kid in Nebraska on a farm. Uh, you'd often find me out walking fields and just exploring. And I didn't have an art background. I didn't have an art. I don't have an art degree uh, or any degree and have had many roads half traveled, uh, including law school and um, working many years as a private investigator in Southern California in the cities and um, uh, and then coming to Arizona and uh, working as a fabric cutter in fabric shops. So I've only been doing art quilts for five or six years and that's all I do now because that's just what fascinates me and I have come to a place in life where I just get to do what fascinates me. So um, I'm really looking forward to the show and I'm excited to have my piece included with um, others uh, whose work I really admire. And uh, thank you so much.